Hello, hello, Miss Peggy here, and guess where I'm at? I'm sitting out in the parking lot of the Dollar General, and I just got to getting some yellow dots. So look, yellow dot. These are a penny, and you know I got tons of yellow dots when they were 90% off. I didn't think I'd find any, but this is my number one store, and I just got these, and I got. These were on the top shelf, and this store has all their yellow dot toys on top of where the candles are. Um, so these were just sitting there, and I got four of them. Four of them. <laughs> I love these trolls because I'm a troll girl. When I was a kid, I used to have trolls all the time. Uh, they was real popular in the 60s. So, um, yeah. So here it is right here. Full for four cents. So I was real excited about these. So I'm gonna be off going to, I'm gonna go all 15 stores today and I'm gonna try my best to remember to make the video in the store so you can see where I'm getting these. Most all the Dollar General toys are on the top shelf. They're not in uh, the aisle with the pink square summer toys. They're on the top shelf somewhere in the store. So let's hit the stores and see what we can get today. Fingers crossed. So I'm in this Dollar General. And looking at all the toys on the top shelf. I'm gonna scan that right there. And look. There's a whole case of those are yellow dot. Let me scan them and see if they are. Okay, they were. These are a penny. So I got the whole case and look when I look got up there the one behind it is too look at that so I got to get that down so let me get that down now I can't reach it so let me get over here and get one of these let's see if I can get it See if I can reach it now. There, I got it. I got it. I got it. Look at that. There's something little pony right there. I gotta check and see if that's different. That's not it, so let me put this in back. Okay. Let me check around and let me check that puzzle right there. Check around and see what else I find. But I filled my basket. Okay, so I'm looking at everything on the top shelf and look what I just found. I spy. Isn't that a yellow clover? That's following yellow dot. This should be a penny. So let's check it out and see. I never saw a yellow clover before, so that's the first one. So let me see if I can find any more. Okay, so I'm at another store looking for puzzles. And I found these puzzles, and look. These are the yellow clovers as following yellow dot. And um, just my observation, these boxes are smaller than the yellow dot boxes. So look for the smaller boxes. So both of these are a penny. 
yellow clovers. So let me look around and see if I can find some more. Okay, so I'm in another Dollar General and I dug through all of these toys. It's just a mess in here. And I came up with two. Now, I can't get nothing to scan in this store. I'm just going to assume everything's a yellow dot. It's still a penny, so I'm just going to take them to the register and see what we get. Okay, I'm in this store, and I know those are a penny. Those have got to be blue dots right there. So let me get them down and see. Oh, yeah, look right there. All right. Let me get those. I'm gonna check around and see if I find any more yellow dot toys. Okay, I found some puzzles. So let me go through all these and see if I find any yellow dots or yellow clovers. Okay. Miss Peggy is home now, so um, I actually got more uh, yellow dot stuff today than I expected to get because I really thought that I had cleaned my stores out of the yellow dot. But uh, you can see I got yellow, I got yellow bags in the back seat. I got yellow bags in the front seat. I got quite a few. Uh, yellow dot puzzles today and I even found some of those yellow clover uh, uh, puzzles that yellow clover I, I didn't think I'd ever seen a yellow clover before but uh, obviously my store had some so I even got some of the yellow clovers and these yellow clovers are the ones that they said was following yellow dot so I was tickled to uh, find them. But I was watching one of my videos from the store and um, I didn't really show you the blue dot hair bands that I got very good. I got them off the shelf and I knew that, well, they were on that top shelf. I knew that they were headbands and they should have been blue dot and they were. And I just took them out of the little plastic container and put them in my basket. And I didn't show you very good. So let, let me show you those before we end this video. Um, these are them. And they were just in that um, clear container that I pulled off the shelf. And they are the blue dot hair bands. And as soon as I saw the blue dot, I didn't even scan them because I had already gotten some of these uh, unicorn uh, hair bands. Um, aren't they just darling? <laughs> they make Miss Peggy look so pretty. But anyway, this is what was in there. And, uh, you know, purple dot's been penny for a while. And I think the purple dot is the only thing that hadn't reset. Uh, now, um, I'm not going to swear to that. But, um, you know, when I first started penny shopping, Man, we could go penny shopping any day of the week, every week, every week, every week. And now the Dollar General has got to where they're resetting these penny items after like two weeks. And so that's kind of disappointing because I'm starting to see some stuff in the store uh, that should still be a penny. And they're just putting it back on the shelf. <coughs> and I'll tell you an example of one today was the um, turkey stuffing. Um, I got several stores that's got that turkey stuffing on the shelf from Thanksgiving and it should still be a penny because it's not even time for the stuffing to be back on the shelf for Thanksgiving yet. So they're running that turkey stuffing 12 months of the year obviously and uh they're running it on the shelves and it's been reset so yeah so they're they're putting stuff back on the shelf um i've even seen some christmas stuff that's back on the shelf today that has reset so our penny shopping availability for the long haul is is 
uh, went from this long to this long. <laughs> And, um, you know, that's okay. I mean, I, I don't have a problem with it, but I'm just letting y'all know stuff is resetting faster. And um, I, I don't know if they got a new CEO or if, if they're just changing the way they're doing stuff. But they're not changing the policy because if we find it, they're still selling it to us on the shelf. Um, so I, I want to address something with y'all before I let you go. Um, I see a lot in the comments that people will say that they go to the Dollar General and they find penny items and they take it to the register and the register lady, the manager or whoever's at the register will refuse to sell it to them. Um, and they're like on our comments saying, well, are they supposed to do that? Can they do that? Well, they're not supposed to do that. The, the policy says they're supposed to sell us the penny items, but I have been refused. I had a whole basket one time of, and I don't even remember what it was, and I was denied, and I had to walk out and leave that whole basket. There's no sense arguing with them about it. When they say they're not going to let you have it, all you can do is remind them of what the policy says. And then if they still don't want to, you know, they're the ones running the register. So if they're not gonna do it, there's really nothing you can do about it. But they are wrong and they have done that to people. I've had it done to me, but uh, yeah, just be nice and don't be mean and just tell them that, well, you know, I know you're wrong. I know you're not supposed to do what you're doing but I don't have a choice but to do whatever you say because you're behind the register. So I'm going to walk and I'm going to leave my penny items here, but I'm going to let you know that I know that you are wrong and you're lying to me. And just tell them nicely and then just turn around and walk out and let their karma work on them. Let their self-conscious bother them all day because they knew they lied. You know, people know when they are lying, and yeah, it bothers them. Um, you know, they have a guilty conscience about it. Rather, you know, how long they are feeling bad about it. it might be this long, you know, it might be five seconds. But yeah, they do know they lie, and they do know that they're wrong. But there's nothing we can do as penny shoppers except just whatever they say. We're, we're at their mercy. So if we bring the penny items up there and they're in a good mood and they they know we've been there before, you know, I've got a manager right across the street at my number one store. When I brought these little trolls up to the register, she was there at eight o'clock. And uh, she, she knew when she saw they were yellow dot, she knows what dot is. And she just got a smile on her face and I only had the four, and she just smiled, and she scanned, and I smiled, and I just watched her scan, and she put them in the bag, and uh, I gave her four pennies, and she said, four cents, please, and I gave her four cents, and she said, thank you, and I said, thank you, and I said, I'll see you next week. She goes, okay, and that's all we say. She knows she's the manager. I, I've been doing this to her for four years and there's nothing to say. She just smiles because she knows <laughs> it's a penny. And um, sometimes when I get up there to the register, she'll just say, what'd you find? I know you found something, but yeah, they know. And, and if they want to buck up the system, uh, we're just at their mercy. So we kind of let them, gotta let them do it. So anyway, I'm going to go in the house and I'm going to get all these penny items in, but I'm going to add this to the end of my video so I can tell y'all good night and goodbye like I always do in my videos. So uh, my new iPhone 11 is working, working, working so I can film inside the Dollar General. And I haven't been able to do that because my Q-Link phones don't have enough space. They won't let me uh, load pictures and make videos. It's just, it's just not enough space. 
And so now I've got a, I've got a leash on life with my phone 11. So yeah, I'm happy. So anyway, adios from North Texas and goodbye from Cowtown. And y'all go find y'all some yellow dot toys. Bye now. And I'll see you in my next video.